Do you have hooded or partially hooded eyes? Let's find out. You just have to look straight in the mirror and try to observe your lid space. Can you see your lid? Or is it hiding under some extra skin, which we call the hood? Then you might have hooded eyes. Hooded eyes are common and normal, but there's a way to do makeup on every eye shape. And here are 10 fabulous tips and tricks to follow if you have hooded eyes. As we have the challenge of working with less lid space, try to push your brow hair all the way up so we can create more space underneath the brow for eye makeup. I'm just using a spoolie in the back of a brow pencil to push my brow hair upward. And while filling in my brow, I'm also not going to drag it any lower than it is. In fact, when I shape my brows, I always end up plucking the tail end of my brow to keep it as high as possible. Even if your brows are low and you don't have enough space underneath the brows, you still push your brow hair upwards because we are going to maximize on that space underneath the brow. And then using the House Labs Precision Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Black, I'm only going to fill in the sparse areas to keep it light, fluffy and not over. This is an optional step, but I also like to use a clear brow gel to push my brow hair upward so it keeps it in place throughout the day. And the one that I'm using today is the Almay Brow Styler. It's a clear brow gel. You can instantly see it makes a huge difference. But my right eye looks so much more brighter than my left just by pushing my brow hair upwards. Next, if you have hooded eyes, you probably also have a fold. It's a crease line passing right across your lid which causes transfers. Whether it's a cream or a powder eye shadow, sometimes when you look up or sideways, that can transfer onto your fold. And to prevent that, it's a good idea to prime your lid and set it with a light powder. I'm going to be using the Rare Beauty Eyeshadow Primer, just patting it on my lid very lightly with my finger. And then I'm going to lightly set it with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. All you need is very little and it dries down fairly quick. This will not only prevent transfers, but it also evens out the skin tone on your lid space for a beautiful eye makeup look. Next, if you have hooded eyes, again, you might have the crease line that passes right across the lid. If you apply makeup only up to your natural crease line, it may never show because it might hide under the hood. Instead, if you have hooded eyes, it's a good practice to do eye makeup while keeping your eye open. I'm keeping my eye open and looking straight in the mirror to create a new crease above my natural crease line. For this, I'm using a contour shade to create a shadow above my natural crease line to give the illusion of a new crease. And because we've moved the crease up, it gives the illusion of a bigger lit space. Hi everyone, spring is fast approaching which means it's time to reset and the best way you can give your hair a reset is through scalp care. For me healthy hair starts with scalp and Waze got the scalp care that you need this season to let your hair down and make it look fuller, healthier and stronger while smelling fabulous. If your scalp is feeling itchy and dry and flaky and your hair is just looking dull, Way has a product to help you care from the top down to meet all of your hair care goals. This is the anti-dandruff shampoo that works its magic like no other on my hair. If you know me, you know that I have super dry skin and hair and I've tried every shampoo from high-end to drugstore and the only thing that's worked on me is the Waze anti-dandruff shampoo. I've settled for this one and I've never looked back. There's something so cool about the formula that after I started using Waze products, I just have to wash my hair twice a week and it keeps it looking fresh for days. I have my set routine now. Every Wednesday, I use the anti-dandruff shampoo. This gentle shampoo is formulated with salicylic acid and clinically proven to gently soothe itchy, irritated scalps while keeping your hair clean and soft. And every Sunday, I use the detox shampoo to cleanse away any product buildup, hard water deposits, dirt, oil and give my hair a reset. After I wash my hair with either of these shampoos and I rinse off, I use the leave-in conditioner on my damp hair and can I tell you, while this softens my hair and helps me detangle, it keeps my hair looking smooth and shiny while smelling so good. Thank you Wei for always trusting me as a partner and sponsoring this part of the video. It was so easy for me because I've been a Wei customer forever. The way to healthy hair this season and beyond starts here. Go to T-H-E-O-U-A-I dot com and use code SMITHA for 15% off your entire purchase. That's T-H-E-O-U-A-I dot com and the code is SMITHA. 
If you didn't know, Halo Eye Makeup is one of the most flattering eye makeup looks if you have hooded eyes. The Halo Eye technique is used to make the eyes appear bigger and brighter. It works by placing a darker shade of eyeshadow on the inner and outer corners. Here I'm using a brown eyeshadow. And then I'm going to sandwich it with a light shade right in the center of the lid for that pop of highlight. This technique makes your lid appear rounder and bigger while the pop of highlight right in the center attracts more light to make your eyes appear brighter. If you'd like to bring more light towards your eye, try to highlight your brow bone right underneath the arch of your brow and avoid completely highlighting your hood or using shimmers or metallics on your hood because that can make your hood space appear heavier and bigger and that'll weigh down on your eye. Doing a regular winged liner on hooded eyes can be tricky. You first have to lift your brow and lid space to create a wing that does not transfer. And then when you're done with your wing and you release your lid space, it appears distorted because now it interferes with the fold of the hood. Instead, a softer wing in the outer corner with an eyeshadow is more forgiving on hooded eyes because it will not interfere with your hood. Instead, it's softer and works with the shape of your hood. And then you can most definitely use an eyeliner and stamp it along your lash line. A black eyeliner in your waterline can weigh your eye down if you have hooded eyes. Instead, try to use a light color eye pencil in your waterline or you can avoid the waterline altogether. And that'll keep the eye looking more open and brighter. Just like eyeliners, heavy eyelashes can weigh your eyes down by covering up the lid space. The best type of eyelashes to use on hooded eyes are the ones that are light and wispy and those that wing out. Always measure up your lash line before you attach the lashes. The light and wispy hair will not cover up your lid space and because it wings out, it conceals the hood in the outer corner. An awesome way to disguise and lift hooded eyes is by using a lid tape. The one that I use is called Cutie Cuter. This is a transparent lid tape which is water activated. So I'm going to spritz some water on this and I'm going to stick it right on that fold that I have on my lid. I like to lift my outer corner and that's why I'm applying it in the outer crease. And here is a before and here is the after. You can see it instantly lifts it and makes a huge difference. Do you think you have hooded eyes and which of these tips would you like to try? Let me know in the comment section. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.